Hello, my name is John Bodding. I work in the Department for English and Writing Studies in University College, uh, Zayed University, Dubai campus. And this video is for my fellow um, educators. I found a really cool piece of uh, software that will let you use your iPad anywhere in the classroom uh, without having to be tethered to the front with you know one of these things. Um, so usually we're sitting up here at the front of the class uh, because that's where our devices are. But many of us want to be walking around the classroom. Um, let's see if I can get that here. So here is a, a typical classroom. You want to be walking around the classroom, uh, talking to students, seeing what they're up to, um, uh, somehow engaging with the work that they're doing. It might be group work and, and so forth. Um, so not always the traditional lecture style form of teaching. I mean, some people, sometimes that's the most appropriate thing to do, and sometimes it's a more interactive approach that you want to have. Uh, but, as I say, if you are tethered to the front with the, you know, having to be plugged in, then that doesn't work out so well. Some classrooms do have uh, this thing, Apple TV. And that would let you, um, you know, walk around anywhere in the classroom. Your iPad would be communicating with the wirelessly with the Apple TV, and the Apple TV would be plugged into projection, and your iPad would be up there on the screen. Uh, the problem with that is, let's say your you want your Mac to be plugged in, you want your computer plugged in, and then you want to switch over to your your iPad, and so you have to unplug everything and plug it back in, and and so on and so forth. It's kind of a, a hassle. Uh, so there's this thing here, Reflector. So it's, it's a little piece of software. It's only uh, $12.99 US dollars. Where can you find it? The website is www.airsquirrels.com slash reflector. Uh, so 12 US dollars versus 100 US dollars. And uh, so what does that convert to in, in $100 American is what? Three or 400 Durham. Um, so, a much cheaper option if you want to get using um, walking around with your iPad right away. Uh, what can Reflector do? Well, as I say, it lets you take this thing, your iPad, without any uh, connections. You don't have to worry about the connections. And you can walk around and whatever is on your screen will show up on your um, computer screen and so I'm going to illustrate more specifically what I'm talking about so you go to the website you you download the software you pay for it and download it and what you get is this here it says reflector so I'm gonna click on that and that that software is now active right now you can see up here it says reflector uh, so that software is just active and waiting to start communicating with something. So now I'm going to go to my iPad and I have the new software loaded on the iPad. The old software, you want to get to something called AirPlay. So the old software, you had to swipe across and you get another strip and on it would be this little icon that lets you um, do AirPlay. For the new software, you have to flick it up and you see there it says AirPlay. So I'm going to click on that it gives me a list of all the devices that are kind of communicating in range. And I specifically want my to communicate with my own laptop. So it, that's mine is John Mac. Okay. John Mac, right on. I, ch I chose it. Now I want to mirror. So I'm mirroring. Ba -bum. And suddenly, whatever, what I have here on my iPad is showing up on my computer screen. Now, if you imagine that my computer is sitting at the front of the room, my laptop, and it is plugged in to the projection, now students are seeing whatever is on my laptop screen, including now my iPad. My iPad is being projected onto my laptop screen. And whatever I do to my iPad happens, appears on the laptop screen. Um, so, for example, I can go to, uh, let's, sometimes I like to start a game with, uh, or start a, a class with a game.
because it sometimes my students are chatting, chatting, chatting away. Word blitz, I don't know what that is. Chatting away and uh, words up. What is that? I've never seen this game. I just downloaded this game recently. But I, at the beginning of the, um, the lesson, I'll to get their attention, get them really, uh, you know, engaged, I'll, I'll do a spelling game. So whatever this is, I have no idea what that is. Um, word blitz. Start. Okay. So now I've got to find words inside of this thing. And I get the students, uh, this is showing at the front of the class, and I get the students to try to identify words. And very quickly they stop talking and they start like getting right into this. Uh, is. Okay, there it is. Um, any other words that you can see? Uh, rep isn't really... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's a word. Anyway, as you can see, whatever I'm doing on my iPad is showing up on the computer screen. And I can turn it... Oh, well, this one is stuck like that. All right. I can turn, when I turn my lap, my iPad, it turns on my computer screen. What else do we have? I can show, you know, a YouTube video. There's some lifestyle things. Maybe, uh, maybe All it's All right. Imagine. What else do I have? Hmm. Well, let's, how about notability? Maybe I'm walking around my classroom, and so here I can, you know, whatever I'm doing, wherever I am, is showing up. What else do we have? Um, YouTube, that, okay, here is my... Uh, Here's Blackboard. I can show them. Sometimes the students, I tell them to go look on Blackboard to find something. They don't know what I'm talking about. I can illustrate it. Get out of that. Um, what else have I got? Ah, here's something. Where is it? Oh, I, I'm missing something. How about if I go to uh, iTunes U? And there's a course up there or something. Well, here's a video. The United Arab Emirates is a dynamic modern country. Right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, here's something else that's kind of cool. If I go to the camera function, there you can see my, my office there. Um, but let's say I have some student work. And I can take a photo of that. Uh, all right, so there is, um, well, the orientation is all messed up. But anyway, there is. I can take a photo of a student work, I could import it into Notability or something else, explain everything, mark it all up. I could just display it at the front of the class for everyone to see just by having taken a photo of it. And Well, in any case, I guess that's what I'm, I'm trying to point out to you is that you can be walking around your class with an iPad. You don't need to have Apple TV. You can get your computer to do that job in place of Apple TV. Your iPad communicates with your computer, and your iPad is showing up on your laptop screen. And it's your laptop that's connected to the projection. And you can do all of that for $13 American. Um, of course, there's other things you can do, like uh, enter full screen mode and so on and so forth um, to, get a better, uh, to get a better image of a projection of what's going on. And I think that's where I'll stop this little presentation. Uh, so hopefully, some of you will find that helpful. I've just turned off my iPad. And, uh, you know, if I totally want to get out of it, I'll just quit out of Reflector. 
And there it is. So if there are some of you out there who are interested in using your iPad in the classroom, you want to walk around, take photos, somehow do some interaction. You Students are sending you stuff, however, and, um, Reflector will let you be more mobile. I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Is it Reflector will allow you to be more mobile in the classroom right away for a, a small investment there. Um, and then the next thing for you is really to kind of explore the technology. And so I've provided my email, john.botting at zu.ac.ae, because if you, you end up using this kind of technology, I'd be really interested to hear um, how you use it, uh, what your experience with it was, and uh, so on and so forth. I'm very interested in things that look at uh, kind of this collaborative learning, collaborative sharing in the classroom, especially as it involves iPad. And uh, there it is. Thank you for your time. Now I just have to figure out how to stop this screen recording.